Microsoft is working with on deals to make it a television device. Well, you know what? I, I just yeah. feel like in, in five years from now, or, t- or ten years from now, they're going to go, yeah, that company used to make uh, they used to make this software for PC. <laughs> what's you know, an operating system, Daddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <they're>, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, good, good on I them. Know, I'm saying they've reinvented this, themselves. This is, they've got the, the, uh, I think the new phone is, is, is pretty competitive. I think uh, the Connect is obviously competitive. Two and a half million uh, units Wow. Sold in the fourth first month. Not that the iPad is not hugely successful. In fact, Cyber Monday yesterday, uh, I don't have the, the numbers in yet, but the stories are the very strong sale of the iPad. I think that they're saying that the iPad right now is averaging out at 1.2 million units a month. Yeah. That's what and I read. So, so we're going to get very close to 10 million for the end of the right right And end. let's point out that that was really oh, an unknown no. product. In fact, if anything, the <laughs> only thing we knew about tablet computing was it was a flop. Awesome. It had been a flop for a decade. Right. So, uh, you know, I remember Jack, Gruber and others live, speculating, well, there, there must be some secret live. sauce in here because there's no way it <laughs> that tablet's going to be worth it. Uh, there's no way Apple putting any energy into it. And here we are. It's still in the first year for a few more months. We've looked back. I think we made predictions. I don't remember what my prediction was. You're ready. There it is. That's me in a few seconds. This is me now. Yeah, that's me a few seconds. Yeah, that's me a few seconds. Yeah, that's me a few seconds. This is me now. This is me a few seconds ago when I pointed to myself. And that's me now. So that means we're live. We're getting ready for NSFW, peeps. NSFW, the new show win. The full. The new show full of win. The new sauce for the Webernets. It's none other than the home of this guy. Oh, and he froze. Which is always a good sign. So any minute now, let me actually call just Robert Yuck. I don't usually call him. Usually I rely on him to call me. So I'm going to just Robert Young. I'm going to double click on his name. I'm going to call him. And let's go. Hold on. There we go. That's me and Justin. Uh, in case you were wondering who that was. Hey, Justin, we're live on Twitter right now. Are you there, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Do you notice that the first words out of my mouth are, we are live on Twitter, Justin? What was that? I'm say- I said we're live on Twitter. Can't hear we- you. Don't be such a... Such, such a what? I don't know that it works. I can finish that way. All right, just send me video, dude. I'm doing that. You clearly are not. No, I mean, like, I'm not. Gotta call you back. All right. Is the audio choppy or is the audio okay? I'm not sure. I guess the audio's cutting out. That's interesting. My audio or Justin's audio? Or the music audio? Do I have choppy audio right now? That's, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm asking the chat room right now. <sighs> Everyone says my audio is choppy. I'm not sure why that would be. Because I think I have everything right. Hmm. According to the power of the I am all kinds of choppy, which is unfortunate because I had a lot of really good, exciting stuff, including this song. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, wow. I don't know what's up with that, dude. Let me actually. Let me find the appropriate music. My audio is choppy. There's only one thing that could be appropriate to play. That I will play as soon as I find it. Hey, 
All right, so if the, if the music is fine, oh, you know what it is? There you go. How about that? Is that better on the audio? <clears throat> that's the question. So if the music is fine, but my audio is weird, that's got to be this. It's no better? They're saying no better. Keep talking. Play some music. They're saying not any better. I don't know why this would be. Justin. Yo. Hey, you're on, you're live on Twitter. Let me hear you talk for a bit. They're saying that my audio is choppy. The music is fine. They're also saying that it didn't happen on Justin.tv, but it is happening now on Twitch. What do you say, sir? Jack, Jack. Hello, buddy. My name is Justin Robert Young, and I want to know if my audio is choppy when I alter the tones of my voice. So that's weird. Saying my audio choppy. They're saying Justin's fine, but I'm not fine. Whoa, hold on. Who's, who's putting that kind of stuff out there? Oh, no. kick. Kick. You're saying it's out fine on. You're saying Justin is kind of choppy too. Check, 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 check. Oh, they're saying it's worse now. I don't understand what it is. Let me try calling calling you back, Twit. I will hang up, and you can call me back. We'll see if that makes things better. How about that? You like that? You happy? The solution, sir? Oh, God damn it. Hello. Okay. No audio right now. This is just, I'm sorry, no video right now. It's just our audio question. How does our audio sound jammery? Let's see it. Chat room. And we're live with the chat room. And the chat room is live. How's the audio? Still bad. They're saying perfect. They're saying choppy, choppy. They're saying bad. They're saying still being out. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, Icky crack, audio. Crack, crack. Poo this it audio, poopy beard face. They're saying Ray Maxwell has better audio. <laughs> I don't know how bad that is. I don't know why my audio is bad. Can you call me from one of the other lines? Twit? Because you're calling me from this one line. Maybe you could call me from another line. Because they're saying everything sounded fine oh, wait, on Brian. Justin.tv. What's up, Justin? Can we just see if, wait, let's see if the chat room hears if this is choppy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did they hear it? Was that choppy? Was that, I don't know if that was the one with me on there. No, that wasn't, no. I'm not playing with the volume fader. This is the exact same setup that apparently sounded good when we were doing frame rate. Nothing is different. Nothing's weird, as far as I understand. All right, so, yeah, we are going to try on Skype Source. We'll see if that works. That my audio uh, was terrible, but yours was fine, and that anything I played was fine, and that's a little bit weird. That's pretty weird. Yeah, that's weird. That's what I was saying, is that it's kind of weird. What I like what to it, say is that is weird. That's what I was saying. I was Correct saying the mundo. Oh, everyone says the audio is fine now. Everyone is saying the audio is fine, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, where's my sound? 
What's that? Do I gotta bring my soundboard down? Uh, play it again. Let me hear some. Let me hear some soundboardage. That's a good level. That's a good level. Let me hear 105.9 The Cat. The Cat. That's good. That's good. What do you think of that? Does that do anything for you, Justin? I I think I look great. <laughs> you look better than me, dude. Like you no, are way no, no, no. hotter actually, than me as a woman. Because you actually have a model face on. No, well, I like, actually yours, know yours looks actually like you you could be walking a runway. But you look like you look like I might be able to score with you because you know you're just sort of you got this wide hat in it. The hat makes me look like such a slut. No, no, no! You don't look like a slut. You I look like a slutty Eskimo, Brian. <laughs> Dude, you look like looks like I'll just pile into any old igloo and just right, melt the ice floor with oh, my I sluttiness. Hold on. Uh, Hi, I'm the old model. What I'm saying is, you look like you have the wide model talk with Brian, Brian the germs. <laughs> Listen, listen. Let me tell you. Let me go. tell you what I think here. Oh, go, go. Because I've me. thought about this a lot. Like you have. <laughs> The wide-eyed optimism of somebody who just discovered the big city. Like, you look like you're just filled with joy. I look like the bittered old Cher who's, who just, you know, has been chewed up and spit out and is on her, on her way out out of this, this one-note town. No, see, you look like the one who's actually uh, getting, like, super top billing, and you've been on the cover of Vogue, like, seven times, and you've definitely, like, built the Saudi prince for, like, a million dollars. So, like, I'm dark on the inside. Yeah, no, I think I think you're just you're just on top of the world. That's why you have such a fierce look. No Me, way. Like, I no, actually I had hideous. to give a, I look a hideous. Life. I look hideous like somebody who, I look like a troll who feels that the wor- world owes her something. And the world doesn't owe you something, Missy, despite no, your shiny no, face you look, and your awesome body. I think that you're refusing to acknowledge your inner beauty. No, you, look at that. Look at your, look right here. Those are the eyes of somebody who's in love with the world, who thinks the world is a beautiful place. No, that's the eyes of the young veal suckling on the teat of, of, of the hormones that's uh, being fed to it while it, it happily plays in its little box before it gets its head cut off. Mm. That's who I am. You are a, you're a proud. What's that? Yeah, the, the number one pet peeve I have with this show is you playing a music clip full volume in the middle of me saying something. Wait, I, I waited until you finished, and then, and then I hit play. And then you said something afterwards so that uh, you didn't stick to the program. The program was I thought you were done, and then I hit no, play. No, because I was making a comparison between where I was and where you were, and, and you said, like, oh, come on, play! Full volume! <laughs> I, heard, I heard a half-second pause and cue next thing. And uh, daylight, go! Daylight, go! And go. go and go. But you got to realize that the mix you hear on your end sounds like I'm blasting you out, but that's not always the case on our end. Okay. It definitely sounds like it sounds like Brian's fingers are like, and that's boring. Go. No. And no, 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 no. something else other than this chattering moron and go. No, 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 no. You everybody knows you are the funnier of the two of us on the show and everyone Stop. tunes in. No, for you. I think the beards are funnier than all of us. Hmm. That's what they think. When you were 14, your dad taught you to shave. That wasn't a very fatherly way for him to behave. You had to watch your first beard melting down the drain. A beard abandoned, a son betrayed. Your dad right. you yeah, what's up? You have business, though. Well, we, need, business? we have to take care of some business. I need one more holiday problem solvers. And I need the numbers of Curtis Lull and Gigaloop. We should also. Oh, that means I also have to have those those sounders ready to go, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me log in to our phone calling program. So, if you if you have a holiday problem that you would like us to solve on this episode, then please email it to nsfwshow@gmail.com. I'll take one more. We already have two pretty good ones. And Bride, did you already have? Do you have a? What are you watching, Sarah? You know what? I've got a couple of options we could do. We've got one that's a long one, or we got three short ones. And the three short ones are hit or miss, uh, I, and I don't know what to show you in what order. Um, um, well, give me the most likely. I think, like, how long is long? 
well, the long one is three minutes long, and it just it just it's it's scenes from one movie put to the song of a totally unrelated song, and they're very bizarre to see them side by side. The uh, the, the the short ones are we have an, an ad for an Uganda film. <laughs> So it's it's first of all coming as two, soon. as two O's and it's coming yeah, soon. It is. It's pretty awesome. I think I'm gonna go for it here. I'll just show you the first few seconds of this. Oh, you touch my ta la la. Mm, my ding ding dong. So okay, so are you with me so far? Yeah, no, I've actually seen this before. Uh, and what do you say? You want to go with that one? No, I, I, I actually, I have, I have one that I would like for you to take a look at. If you're did in you the see NSFW. the title of this one though? Yeah, but like, how is that funny for this this particular bit? Well, well first of all, read. I mean, uh, look at the visuals. This whole thing long. I mean, have you ever seen Slither? No, but that's what makes it more insane. And this is this is the three minute one, right? Yeah, this is the long one. This is the three minutes. Uh, I have a short one that I'd like you to take a look at. All right, well, because we got some good short ones, you gonna send it over to me? It's in the NSFW thing. What do you want me to send it to you? Uh, you can put it in. I have the, it. I have the... it labeled as "What is Sarah watching?" Send send it. Uh, oh, in the document. Let me open up the document. Hold on. That's good. Okay, I can put it there. Hold on. Do we have a document for today's episode? So it may do. That's, look at this. We're all kinds of pro, almost. Kind of pro. Practically pro. All right, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I just put it in there. Uh, we got problems under, under what? What are you watching, Sarah? There's nothing there. Uh, Jared, can you refresh it? Well, it should be real time. It's there for me. Hmm. That's weird because I'm on like you're right there. Now. You're there, but there's nothing there. Here, I'll hit refresh. Wait for it. Nope. Still nothing there. Well, I don't. Oh, Can you hit right. enter and go to a different cube or something. I said cube when I meant box. Yeah. Hey, can we get hats made that say 105.9 The Cat? Yes, Brian, we can. <laughs> we totally wear that. Can we sell them for Christmas presents? People can wear 105.9 The Cat hats? I would love to. The cat, cat in the hats, if one would. <laughs> the 105.9 The Cat in the hats. Would you guys buy that? Would you guys buy 105.9 The Cats? The Cats. Jerbs the racist badger. Cat hats, they're one of a kind. Cat hats, they're one of a kind. You can see them smoking crack up on the daily grind. Right, did you get it? It looks yeah. like you're on it now. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm trying to make that happen now. Now, this would be something that we'd have to skip this intro. No, no, wait, we saw this. Oh, you did? Th okay. This was one of our submissions for short, short form ones. Yes. So why don't we, we, if you don't like the long form one with Slither, then we'll do short form with this one and this one and. Well, we're going to do more than one? Well, short form are 30 seconds each. So if we stopped, yeah, I guess so. I guess the last one was what? That was like a minute and a half? Last one was like two, two minutes and we got like yeah. six minutes of hilariousness out of that. And then there's this one if you want to do anything with this. Does that do anything for you? I'm liking this one. <laughs> All right. Done and done. Uh, okay, well, we got 10 minutes until we're go time for go time. And All right. Here, we, we, you want to do a little, uh, a little uh, preview of holiday problem solvers? Because we have one more slate to go. 
Oh, we we, we got one more that we got to put in. Oh, yeah. no, oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, you know what? Actually, let me let me bring in that slate here because you know what I have right now. Unfortunately. <laughs> Which is out of date. So we got to switch to something else. Hold on, somebody's calling me right now. Hey, what's up? Nah, take care. Bye. Uh, dude, somebody just called with a relay call, which is where they get a deaf person or a. Oh, really? Yeah. That was somebody like, this is 900 calling with a relay call. Do you know how to use a relay call? And I was just like, dude, I'm live on the air. Only well, didn't say any of that. I just hung up. No, you said, no, I don't. And then I Stop hung it. up. You just want to have somebody else say that you're touching your butt. And then I totally hung up. Okay, so this is what? Problem solvers? Yeah. So that Wait, you don't mean... like have that old clip to save someone? Well, no, I do. I'm trying to find it so I could do... Problem solvers. Right? Here we go. All right, let me open up another one that will have the problem solved. Because that's what we need to do. Hey, what do you think of the freaking Walking Dead firing their writing staff? Um, I mean, if Darabont wrote two of the episodes himself, they had to rely on freelancers for two other whole scripts, and then apparently he wound up heavily rewriting the majority of the other episodes. Like, I don't know. Can you really be that upset about it? I'm not saying upset, but that's that's kind of groundbreaking, man. That's some exciting, crazy stuff, isn't it? Um, well, I mean, apparently they do it a lot in, in, in British series. I, I'm curious to know, you know, what, what the, the, the problem was behind it. And maybe it's just, uh, you know, the thing is, like, those situations are so weird to begin with. Like there are a lot of writers rooms from what I understand that like the, all the main stuff, some showrunners are way more involved than others. And it's basically just a union thing where they all come up, they come up with an idea and they write it and they kind of break off. So the dialogue goes together, but they wind up just putting somebody's name on it when it's really a very collaborative effort. So if he's figured out a different way to do it, like at this point, when, when Darabont makes, that what he made for those first five and, and as all the reviews that have come in of, of critics, the finale is supposed to be insane and awesome. Um, yeah, I give him, he gets full license with me. You, you can do whatever. Problem solved. I did not realize that you were setting me up for a bit. And then I just realized uh, I, I, I actually was fall in not, love with you all over again. Uh, I was not setting you up for a bit, but while you were talking, I got that loaded, and I was going to try to interrupt with a salient point, but instead I was like, the moment he stops talking, he's going to get one of these. Problem solved. I'm so glad to have the gang back together, the team, the original team. The OG team. The OG team. <laughs> Somebody is suggesting we play this for the intro. Justin, I got to go to the bathroom before we are go time. Do you know if Sarah's going to call us from in studio or she knows what line to call? Have you been in touch? No. Oh, should I should I direct message her and tell her? Yes. Uh, 
Wait, this isn't one of those situations where we both assumed that she was booked and neither of us did anything, is it? No, she concurred uh, last week after we talked to her. Okay. By we, I mean everybody tweeted her and she said, let's do it. We're locked. Remember the hard booking? But that's the last? Yes. What the heck? Hold on. Jammer B in the chat room says... Yes, she told me she was not on. Well, then. <laughs> that is, uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We have three minutes. And Don't I'm worry, gonna... Brian. <laughs> You'll figure this out. Um... Um. That's who we need to call. Are the problem solvers. <laughs> Somebody said... Somebody said... I can't believe I thought that we had Sarah all on. Why don't we just get somebody to call in and pretend to be Sarah the whole time? <laughs> I do not know. Wow, that's uh, that's kind of a boner. <laughs> it's a boner, all right. So, so she actually said that she was not on, even though we thought she was on, and that, the, that when she was on, mm. we can have Owen. We could call O Doctor and have him wear a wig the entire time. Hmm. We can call Colleen. Hmm. We can call Colleen. Colleen. We could start off the episode saying tonight the part of Sarah Lane will be played by Colleen Kelly. I would love to have Colleen back on. I mean, all right. So do we need to? We need to fucking just call in. Oh, Dad, come on, Justin. We are live on Twitch. What is it what? with you? I just said we need to call in a favor. No, did you not hear yourself drop the f bomb? I said totally. No, you did not. You did not. definitely I did said not the, say F-bomb. the F-bomb. You definitely, definitely said the F-bomb. You definitely said the F-bomb. I didn't. No, because number one, I totally told Jammer B that I didn't say the F-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you to- oh, my God. All right, let me call Colleen. Chat room heard. We totally, you said we totally effing need to blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't remember that. I know you don't. I know you don't. I don't even have Sarah's freaking number. This is how stupid I am. I think that ship has sailed. What, the Sarah ship? Yes. If I mean, if she told Jammer B, I mean, because the last time she stayed in the studio. Yeah, well, what did she say to Jammer B? If only Jammer B would, would, would tell us. Unless Cheeto points out that perhaps Jammer B is lying to us. That seems kind of improbable. No. He's a that's... good man. We could have Bonnie play Sarah. But we'd have to never let her see her face. That would be very awkward. It would be awkward for everyone except for. Okay, apparently there's a. Yeah. No, that was the, the post from last week where she was saying that she was going to be on. That's fine. Yeah, but. But. But none of us contacted her to make sure. That's why we're. That's why we, and I say we, are dumb. So it's uh, Chat Room's choice for a guest tonight. <laughs> we're playing we're, we got a little game we like to call Chat Roulette, where the Chat Realm decides who our co-host is going to be for this episode of NSFW. I'm your host, Brian Brush. We're joined, as always, by the inimitable co-host. Co-host. The ho-host. The ho-host. <laughs> the ho-host. I, already, I just sent a direct message to Colin Kelly. Look, everyone, Twitter, everyone you know, and see who you can get on the show. It's here it's we go, time. folks. It's your choice. It's uh, dealer's choice this time. Chat Realm's choice, folks. <laughs> Kate Middleton. Pete Thick uh, suggested we get Steve Dildarian on the show. Oh, there we go. How about Mark Marin? <laughs> Prax Barack, Barack Obama. You know, we actually called Barack Obama earlier when he had some choice words to share with us. What, what did he say again, Justin? How did I? Oh, hold on. Wait, let me play some of those clips from Barack Obama. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's a jackass. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, that was unnecessary, sir. Mr. President. <laughs> well, at NSFW show just failed at booking is what they say, but I don't know that I believe it. I think we did just fine. I am Trekker fills in tonight on SFW. Understand that whoever we get will be playing the role of Sarah Lane. We got to make that clear. We got to uh, make that clear. Unless it's yeah. Colleen, in which case it could be Colleen. No, it's going to be Colleen. Colleen's going to be, she's tweeting. All right. If You know what? Everybody, everybody hit up at Digital Kitty. Tell her she needs to come on the show right now. There we go. There's, no, I'm seeing some requests for Debit Daddy, Veronica Belmont. Oh, El Fanning. I wonder if El Fanning would, be, would like <laughs> to come on. Fanning. Dude, we already have 1059 the cat hats. How amazing is this? 1059 the, the cat. <laughs> I would love to if, we're, if we can just actually make those because uh, the person that I came up with that joke with is getting married this summer, and I would really like that to just be the gift. You, you can I'd get like him. To, I'd cat. like to get away with spending nine dollars and ninety cents on an awesome gift that he will love. Uh, yes, they, they both will. The bride and and, and groom uh, will certainly love. Well, uh, this is the first time this has happened, right, Brian? Maybe this is the reason why we've never we've been so lax with this. Is because it's never been a we've problem. Never, we, it's never we've never been burnt. You know, and by the way, do. we've been way more cavalier. Than actually having somebody confirm in a public space that they're coming on and then not come on. No, that's that is totally totally true. Uh, we could totally pimp who we have next week. We could next week, next week, next week. We are joined the father of Kal El, the uncle of Kal El, brother. Oh yes, the uncle, uncle of Kal El, right? Uncle of Kal El, yes. Uh, the pirate, the self-proclaimed pirate. Of the Coppola family. He says he's a pirate? That No, that was like his intro in one of the Digivandalists. I'm sorry. Somebody just sent this in, and I'm not going to lie. It's pretty good. Oh, my God. They me rolling. They hating. Patrolling and trying to kiss me riding dirty. 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 Yes. Is that doctor in the chat room? I don't know. Do we, I, 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 my personal preference, not that I don't love me some Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O. Doctor. I would love to get Colleen. I'd love to get a female. I'd love to get a, either Bonnie to pretend. We could just put up a picture of Sarah all the time. We could just call her Sarah the entire. What, what would Sarah say if all of a sudden there's a new episode called Special Guest Sarah Lane, and the whole time it's body, but we just cut to a picture of Sarah Lane the entire time. I, You know, I, it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, we didn't double check with her, and, and you know, I think it was one of the casualties of the of the Thanksgiving, uh, you know, break, and uh, I wouldn't want it to seem like we were mad at Sarah. No, we're not. We're not. Look, we are the dumbasses who didn't bother to completely confirm everything that was definitely happening. Well, we are very aware things got nutty, but we just assumed when we had the exchange over Twitter uh, that, that, you know, involved like, oh, yeah, no, it's on, I'm there, that, that we just decided it was done. However, we are not professionals. We're complete jackasses who have no idea what they're up to. That is true. That is totally true. I'm going to call. I just realized that Colleen is one of the few people who has only Numbers. one name on my, on my phone. So it just, it just says, just says calling Colleen. Hey, there we go. I'm calling right now. Hold on, let me actually, I'll throw her on here. I got to rejigger the thing since we did the weird things last night. Hey, when is that episode going live, by the way? Weird things? They normally go live on Thursday. No, no, I'm not drunk dialing you. I am live dialing you because we thought we had Sarah Lane booked for tonight, but apparently Sarah had a different idea. And now, five minutes into our start time, we realized that we don't have Sarah Lane booked like we thought. And we were wondering if you wanted to do NSFW with you. Right on. Uh, call 
NSFW show, and we'll throw you on that line. Awesome. I love you. Dude. How sweet was that's that? That's why it's why she's uh that's why she's Colleen. That's why she's the she's the best. And I guess home. that's why they call her Colleen. Do, 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 do. Uh all right. Well, we are locked and loaded then. Uh <laughs> it's a good thing that we actually have uh good bits today. Yeah, no, totally, dude. Let me tell you, when I think of Colleen, I think of one thing, and that's this right here. Whoa, that's all quiet. I don't like Why is that one-sided? I don't understand that. Justin, talk real quick. Justin. Justin, talk. See? Oh, okay. I guess you didn't see it. Yeah, let's try this again. Maybe we got this. Shadowy wailing guitar. Yeah. Like, pulled the 80s. Oh, dude, it really did. And it was so good at that. It was just like, like you'd be just doing something, like some percussion beat, and it's like, <laughs> howling from the beyond. Oh, my God. I think it actually was president for two years. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm waiting on. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have a. Guess is it could be Colleen, are you there? I'm here. How are you? <laughs> hey, Colleen is the best person on planet. Before Earth. it even starts. Yes. I am the winner of this lame ass podcast game. Yeah. Sorry. Colleen, you. thank you. No problem. Anything I can do to save your butts. Funny thing happened on the way to the show today. We found out that the guest we thought we had booked, totally not booked. Ha ha ha. I'm sure that happens all the time. Ha ha ha. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Usually Eric Schmidt shows up to his shows at my current job. <laughs> how, are, how are you enjoying Google? Uh, I love it. I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. That's awesome. So I'm trying really hard. Okay, so let me set this up. We'll do are you this. still working on like super top secret stuff, Colleen? Or can you talk about... Like, well, we, we, on, like, we've announced out? that we're working on a uh, live streaming platform. And so I work on that both internally and externally. Dude, that's awesome. We'll be, we'll be really totally happy to completely dump any connection we have to any other live streaming platform as soon as it's available well, for us. I, Twit, I called you like uh, maybe two months ago to ask you if you would be interested in uh, experimenting on some stuff with me. The answer is always yes. Anytime there's an experiment, I'm a scientist, and I'm happy to do so. Uh, Very good. I, I, I totally, uh, things got a little bit nutty, especially last month with the Halloween Horror Night stuff. But, uh, yes, absolutely a million percent over thrice foldishly, then I'm totally down for it. Cool. Then send me an email after the podcast, and I want you to do some awesome stuff. Done and done. I don't know how awesome I could be, but I do know that I have to go to the bathroom, and I do know that this Giga Pudding video is one minute long, and I could play that. While I go get ready, you ready to do the show? What? Yes, yes. What are we? Well, what is the show about? <laughs> Funny you should ask, Colleen. Uh, we're gonna play a lot of games that uh, we definitely wrote with your name involved, including uh, what are you watching, Colleen? <laughs> and um, I'm watching the Daily Show, as you can yes. see right over there. No, no, we're gonna play. All right, so we have we have three. Brian, you go. All you right, know, you you take over. You take over. The two of I'll you show, talk I'll talk about yourself. Show to Colleen. So, Call. Here's what we're doing. We have a little bit called uh, Holiday Problem Solvers, which is a, a bit that we've done where uh, people have sent in problems 
we're going to solve them in a, in a, uh, a regimented fashion. One of us is going to repeat the problem in a, in a summarized sentence. One of us is going to give a, uh, a, a one sentence uh, solution to that problem. And one of us is going to give a witty rejoinder. And then we're just going to hang up the phone. It's basically prank calling solutions to people's lives. So we're going to do that. Then okay. we have a bit called What Are You Watching, Colleen? In which we are going to play some, uh, you know, because we were, we're audio as well as video. So a lot of times the audio listeners, they kind of complain, like, I don't know what the hell's going on. So we're going to play some videos that don't play audio at all, and we're going to have you explain to the audio listeners what's going on on the screen. Uh, then we're going to have our big final, uh, our big final bit where uh, it's going to be the uh, Better Net Guide to Horrific Holiday Gifts. We have some of the worst rated items on Amazon that we're going to try and find a silver lining on. And Chat Realm down below there is going to go and try and uh, maybe... Uh, you know, give these things, uh, you know, the PR lift that they truly deserve for this, our holiday season. Okay. That is the NSFW show tonight. Thankfully, okay. with you here, instead of, uh, you know, whoever else that may have been booked. Um, for example, maybe Sarah Lane. I, I mean, let's say if we're going hypothetically, sure. We could, we could just go ahead and throw things out there. You look like you're on Uvu. I'm not. I'm actually on Skype. Really? Yeah. Because you were macro blocking. Was I? No, you look uh, you look pretty good on the. Yeah, camera. I've I have no lights. What I should do is actually um, to have more white on my computer screens. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and, like, no, that would be good. That would be a nice soft ambient light. And then see, there we go. There you go. Looks hey, right good. on. All right, are you guys feeling uh, it? That's yes. how big my screens are. <laughs> we have uh, we have explained to her. All of the, the bits, uh, do me a favor, Colleen, uh, when we play the uh, video intro for Problem Solvers, just kind of squint a little bit and say, hey, look, I don't remember my hair being like that. It must be some type of Problem Solvers. That's definitely you. That's definitely, definitely Colleen that we took a picture of from, <laughs> from her appearance on Tech News Today. That's, I look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. And then, Brian, you have the what are you watching, Colleen, videos? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to do the three short ones, right? Okay, yeah. And then I have some uh, Better Night Guide to Holiday Gifts lined this is up. great. I Somebody have... just said in the chat room, Colleen smiles all the time. Uh, you know what? <laughs> she doesn't, though. That's why it's special But that's the funny thing, because I never smile. I know, but when you do smile, it's like the sun breaking through the clouds, man. It's pretty exactly. awesome. All right, it's I'm like it's figure. like the dawning of a I'll, revolution. So I'll let me just make it, make this food? very clear. Just just to be clear, we are not using this video right here, right? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna kill it. This is what you interrupted me from. What? <laughs> from what? My new 48 port HP Pro Curve switch that I was going to configure tonight. Holy cow! Well. One, you know, <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> we took her away from her forty-eight port switch. I'll tell you what. Only in the Twit Live chat room is the entire uh, the entire Everyone chat room just saying "fap fap fap." Omg, that's so hot, so <laughs> sexy. And they weren't even talking about this. That's for damn no, sure. No, they weren't oh, talking about our our Victoria's Secret coverage, which we're going to be doing <laughs> later. Uh, okay, I say it's go time. What do you say? Uh, I think it is. What's our initial video? It is this. This was one that was selected by the chat realm. <clears throat> uh, so we'll start off with this. Oh, 